You know, when they say that there's no strength or speed or power in jiu-jitsu, I think that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> right? Now, we want to try to train with control. Obviously, we're taking care of our training partners, and we all got to go to work tomorrow. Nobody wants to get hurt. Yes? But with the way that we're trying to get to our side and load ourselves up for the next movement, it can't be, it can't be wet noodle. All right? It's got to have some pop behind it. So, and, and like, you know, somebody was asking about, like, you know, I'm creating a lot of distance when I do this, right? Like, when I grand you all, like, I'm way out there. I create, like, a lot of room. And the reason I'm creating a lot of room is because, like, when we get to here and here, like, my hips are here, yes? Like, dude, they got way out there with that, with that footwork, right? Um, so that's really what you got to create. Like, this leg, when it kicks, it kicks hard. It kicks out like this way, like I'm trying to kick you, right? And so it's like, like that will create a ton of movement if you really use that to your advantage and get to your shoulder with your temple. Okay, so we're up. Boom, tons and tons of distance, right? And then when you, when, you, when you decide to go through with the second part, like look, as this goes around, like I don't know, like I'm, I'm using a lot of downward slicing with that heel to make a big powerful arc so it can really carry me through okay I'll try to answer two really good questions that i got right these are both really fair questions all right so the first question is uh, uh what happens if you're getting caught in like a double under stack right because you're grand being around and you're getting stacked so um, real quick, what you would want to do is as I'm grand being, he's starting to catch me in a stack, I gotta have like really heavy knees and strip these hands apart. Not let him get his hands together and not let my knees come here, okay? And then from here, I'm visually looking for an underhook. I'll get together with a gable grip and I'll stomp my right leg and end up in a nice type of guard situation like this. And the other question I got was we get to here, and we get to here, but look, let's say that hand stays. Yeah, that's a problem, okay? So as I get a go, I gotta like peel that hand with the inside hand. I have to like win an inside space and guide his arm, the outside arm, with the same arm that is doing the escaping. I gotta be able to take it off the mat, all right? All right, guys, thanks for being here tonight. Uh, if you have questions about what we covered, grab me after class. And uh, let's uh, circle up. Thanks for being here, y'all. Good planning on three. One, two, three. Ten, Ten planet. planet.